Now that we've connected to Pusher, we want to be able to subscribe to a channel and then bind to events on it. So in this example, we're going to subscribe to an energy usage channel and then bind to a usage updated event. So based on the example from the connected video, we can then subscribe to a channel and we're going to call it energy-usage then we want to bind to an event on that channel and we're going to bind to usage underscore updated and then we pass in a handler we get the usage information Um, and within this handler we want to do something with the usage. For the moment we'll just create another section and we'll just output the contents of the JSON. So we'll do we use jQuery to get access to the element the text to uh, we'll stringify the JSON or the object that we passed. Okay, so this is all very well, but how do we test that? So we can test it in a couple of ways. We can actually call emit on the channel object, or we can use the pusher dashboard. For simplicity's sake, I'll use the dashboard. So if I go to app.pusherapp.com, um, I'm then going to use the talks app and I'll use the event creator. Here I can put in the channel name. So if we take this energy usage channel name, paste it in there, and we take the event usage updated and we paste it in there and then we want to pass in some event data for the minute we can just pass in a property hello with a value world um, so if we go back over here we'll see on the the right hand side there's just a connected um, let me put some Sorry, some text in there, we can say nothing here yet. And then I can send event, so my event has been successfully sent. If I go over here, we can see we've got hello world has appeared on the right hand side. Now the actual format of the data is going to be a bit different, so I've got that stored here. So we've got um, quite a bit of information in there, we've got a header, Got a payload, number of devices, because this is an electric electricity usage example. Each device has a name and it has a usage, and we're just going to uh, pass in math.random, which isn't going to work. Um, I can make that five. I can make this ten. I can make this twenty. So I send that, that's been successfully sent. And over here we've got the JSONs appeared on the right hand side. So that's an example of, we've already connected, we can subscribe to a channel, uh, we can then bind to an event on that channel, and then we can display the information, albeit in a not very nice way, but um, within the page.